Well, we're here at a special event being held in New York City following the first day of this year's audio engineering show. It's the launch of the inaugural DCS Legends Award, and we have with us the first recipient of the award, the renowned mastering engineer, Bob Ludwig. Bob, congratulations oh, on this. Thank you so much. How does it feel to be the first recording engineer to receive this very unique honor? Well, when I look at the other engineers that I have, like Al Schmidt's kind of the godfather of all of us, you know, and then you've got Chuck Ainley and Ed Cherney and Elliot Shiner, and there's a big long line of them. I felt like I cut the queue somehow and somehow got to the head of the line. And like, how did that happen? You've won many awards in your time, so this is just another one to add to your shelf, I'm sure. Ah, <laughs> uh, well, this is a special one, so that's great. So your, your DCS Legends Award underscores the growing trend towards studio quality streaming. How important is it for fans to hear your recordings in high-res audio? Well, I think it's very important because we are making the record that way, and that's exactly how we hear it. And everything that's not that is something, you know, debased in some manner. If uh, we're re recording at 96 kilohertz and uh, then you suddenly play it at a lower rate or, God forbid, an MP3, um, a lot of the magic really goes out of the uh, sound. Um, our ears are very attuned to uh, very fine transients, you know, because uh, of the flight and flight res fight or flight response, where you hear a little thing behind you, you know, that's a, that's a tiger, so you got to run. So our ears are very attuned to uh, uh, impulse response. And the higher the sampling rate, the more accurate that impulse response is, and uh, it's a big deal. You know, some people's ears are not as tr well trained as others, but I think that even people that aren't quite aware when they hear it will be a little bit more emotionally involved with it than it would have been uh, at a lower rate. So. so the presentation of your award is being made by premier audio manufacturer DCS uh, in cooperation with the Recording Academy Producers and Engineers Wing. Um, and you're a member of the P&E Wings Advisory Council, aren't yes, you? Yes, yeah, I used to be co-chair for five years. So. It must be really gratifying to have so many of your colleagues here this evening to celebrate this with you. Yeah. It really is. I'm a little embarrassed almost, but I'm, I'm thrilled to have that many people supporting me. I had no idea, really. <laughs> so. How often do you get together with your peers like this? At really Rebels? only in conventions or, you know, P&E events. Um, advisory council meetings, things like that. So, <clears throat> uh, so it's always great to see everybody though. When you see them, it's as if you're continuing a conversation you had six m months ago, you know? So DCS's Legends Award is a multifaceted program and it's gonna feature a number of elements and uh, a number of recordings, including an upcoming interview of you sharing some behind the scenes anecdotes about your various Grammy winning projects. Can you give us a sneak preview about that or about some of those? No, you have to wait for the uh, podcast or that recording, yes. <laughs> I thought you might say that, Bob. Okay. All right. Well, we'll just have to be patient for that one. I'm sure it's going to be really worth the wait and look forward to hearing that very much. Thank you, Bob. Me too. <laughs> Thanks for your time. And congratulations You're once well, again well. on receiving the first ever DCS Legends Award. Jesus, thank you so much.